breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile <laughs> Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. Batman's sighted, boss. Right on top! Commissioner, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. them. Save our city. Commissioner! Commissioner! He's... He's gone. Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Penguin improved the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on her, they'll go easy on you. Grogan's death is on you. And I'm here to make sure you pay oh, for it. Oh, Batman, those are just words. Words can never hurt you. Unlike this drum here, which is designed to cause quite a bit of pain. Ta-ta, Batman! No, no, come on, just stay put.
if I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. His men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin would never pass up an opportunity to gloat. He'll be happy to talk to his old friend, Bruce Wayne. And while he's busy talking, you'll be figuring out a way to stop him. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan, and that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Wayne, get back! I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some stupid thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. I'm the last person Oswald will expect. I can use that. This isn't a gala, Mr. Wayne. Just making an appearance isn't gonna do jack all. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash their dumb faces. Stop us, please. 
I'll smash all the dumb faces. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a wane in Cobblebug Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect law! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by, hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too good to be true. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he's closer than you think, just waiting for his moment to strike. Oh, we'd know if he was. I've arranged quite the sounding light show for his arrival. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago. You and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? All I see is a thief. A low-life thug who stole my life. I saw an opportunity and I took it. Which is more than you ever had. some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? Why, Oz? Are you scared of Batman? Might be, if I weren't so certain of my upper hand, as it were. Ah, not that you can't look after yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, hey eh, Bruce? That was the drug, and nothing more. We both know that isn't true. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The Wayne's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You try to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. Batman, be down. We're done chatting, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. They'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park. Your mother deserved Arkham. You heard me, she was insane. Unfit to walk the streets. And you know it. I'll carry you! Oh, you bloody hell! Bruce! You... you bastard! You got a lot to answer for. 
Those bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <laughs> Is that all you got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. You and me both, Lieutenant. I won't argue there. Do you think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. Never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it. If I'd done something all those years ago, this, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. 
Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Oswald was... <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Vicky Vale. Mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet... It doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes.
Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Maybe she's just messing with me. Some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property? As a joke? She has an unusual sense of humor. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride, but you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a mark, that is. 
So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Then we both know what would happen. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. That's not what I want, Selina. I don't want to be enemies. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. You're right. You're a thief. And nothing more. Glad we agree. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. I'll see you around. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Face was knocked over in the struggle. A 
fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. See a connection here. The poker couldn't have made that crack. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea.